and let this set the tone. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Besides being invisible, press the start button, it takes a whole second for the menu to come up, and to throw an attack at the same time. Like, what the fuck is that? Fight for our supper, boys! Barbie's looking for the scrap, boys! Boys! At least finish what the fuck you start! Come alone here, boys! You boys all taste like elk! How long is it gonna take for my fucking body to appear? And my fucking HUD. Jesus Christ, dude, this game is just busted. For me! Come feast on me! Okay, aside. Invisible players, invisible HUDs, enemies that appear out of nowhere, weird death animations and respawns, uh, and all the weird shit uh, that just accompanies this broken, fucked up game. Keep in mind, this is all recorded from the first stage of the game in one player mode. A playing multiplayer though, online, it doesn't have as many glitches for some odd fucking reason, but it does disconnect the entire party after every quest, which makes no fucking sense at all. Just the amount of shit you will see in this fight here, which is the final boss of the, the first fucking stage of the campaign mode. Just the way you're gonna have to play it if you wanna play it solo, if you can even make it through, because besides all this shit, it crashed five fucking times, and I couldn't capture that on my PlayStation because when it crashes, it just doesn't record the shit right. Give me a fucking break, dude. That thing barely touched me. I don't understand how people in quality assurance could be like, yeah, put this out. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's not as bad as fucking Cyberpunk 20 fuck my ass, but when the final boss fight starts and you can't see your character or your fucking HUD or projectiles, the enemy, pretty much anything except for the stage and your own boots. What the fuck? You can't play the game. It doesn't function. There is a glitch that comes with doing that. That attack I just did. Okay, so this isn't on the easiest setting either. It's on medium. It's not on super difficult. It's not even on hard. It's on fucking medium. Heroes. That's what difficulty it's on. Heroes. Which is the second easiest difficulty in the game. I mean, I went through Neverwinter. And there were a few glitches, but it was definitely more well-built than this fucking mess. What is even here? getting hit by nothing. If you have to play this, play it, uh, play it online with some friends. And try not to get irritated when it disconnects you at the end of every fucking quest. Look at the, look at the way this asshole's walking. He's not even walking, he's sliding across the fucking stage. And so you have to watch out for that, because normally he's slow. But shit like that'll happen. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, with no fucking warning, this dude is in your butt, just wearing it like a boot. There he goes with his fucking ice skating again. Pick me 
irritate with your bones, Reggie. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are good things like the way you can combo and just beat something the fuck down. That is awesome. That is fun. There are a myriad of fucking attacks, uh, normal attacks, heavy attacks, uh, special attacks, ultimate attacks, just crazy amount of shit you can do. Dashes and rolls, blocks and parries. The combat is great. There are a lot of glitches and a lot of crashes, a lot of full-blown fucking errors. Which is a disappointment. Okay, you saw him go up, right? Look over at that door. You see how he landed? Somehow, that's the physics of this game. So, unfortunately... To play it in this state, you're gonna have to play it like you see me playing it right now. What you waiting on, Barbie? Fuck you, dude. Very cautiously and very carefully. Because you're just not gonna have enough potions and resources to get you through, even on the lower difficulties if you're playing solo. So this is another game that's in the vein of, like, Monster Hunter World, where it's really not meant to be played solo. I don't know if that was intentional this time. I mean, it was in Monster Hunter World, but I don't think it is now. I think it's that way because it's broken. And here's that hit glitch I mentioned a, a bit earlier. And then as soon as he gets up, nothing will knock him down again. But you got fucked up death animations, you got enemies that ice skate, missing HUDs, missing characters, damage from nowhere, rules that just don't apply on a constant basis, all in the first stage, at the first boss fight. This is ridiculous. Don't play this fucking game solo until they patch it. If they patch it, because it's a D&D game, as it stands, I would have to give this game a fucking, like, 4 out of 10. Just because you cannot play it when it's in this state. Even remotely well. <laughs> 